Yo, what is up guys? My name is Steven and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Today we're doing Lumberjack Mirror Clone Trolling Arena 1. Now, before we do start the video, I do have a few announcements to make. I am sick right now, so I do apologize if my voice does sound a bit raspy or weird. But you know what guys, I'm still here. I'm gonna try the best I can as of right now to make this Lumberjack video. Now, if you guys do enjoy Clash Royale drop trolling content, be sure to leave a like down below. Every like is much appreciated. Let's try to hit 300 likes on today's video guys. And I'm also happy to announce that me and a few other YouTubers are also doing a Christmas to New Year's giveaway. And all you have to do to join is one, leave a like on today's video again, and two, subscribe to my channel and turn on push notifications and next click the gleam.io link in the description down below that'll bring you to this page where you can subscribe to me and a bunch of other youtubers the more people you do subscribe to the more chances you will get to enter into the giveaway and win good luck to everyone who does enter into the giveaway and one more thing guys a shout out to ali who did end up getting like 170 something crowns for the crown chest i do have a new clan it's called gravity uh, I'm pretty sure you guys saw the clan tag a few minutes earlier so you guys could just go ahead and look back to that if you do want to join We are pretty active and we will have like slots filled most of the time So you might not always get a chance to join But you know what we do always kick inactive so just stay tuned keep looking at the clan each day if you do want a chance to join Anyways guys first battle of the day. We're up against this level 3 player uh, Let's actually just wait for him to do something first. I'm not sure. Okay. He's gonna drop a knight right there uh, I don't really have the elixir collector up anyways. Uh, okay, baby dragon as well I don't know if I should drop the lumberjack or just cycle through right now. Let's wait for him to drop a chat Okay, yeah, he's gonna drop his giant right now. I can easily just make a lumberjack push off of this Let's try to get some more lumberjacks without any collectors down right there All right, we probably shouldn't have wasted that rage spell I probably should have like dropped another lumberjack, but I can just clone them up so I can get some more cloned rage spells down right here. All right. I'm pretty sure that one is going to drop his rage spell until it does end up attacking the king tower. Or it's going to get shut down completely by that skeleton army right there. So well played, man. I'm pretty sure a skeleton army combined with like the prince could easily shut down these lumberjacks. If uh, he does play his cards correctly. But like I doubt it. Like I also have the zap and log. So the skeleton army isn't going to be that much of a problem to me. All right, I'm just gonna go ahead and cycle back to the mirror, but let me just go ahead and log out a few of these troops right here. We only got the knight, but I don't know. He's just starting the same push over and over again with the baby dragon and the knight. It's clearly not working, but you know what? These guys never learn. Anyways, let's go ahead. Just wait for his bomber to die. We'll drop a lumberjack right here. We'll drop the mirror one on the river so we can have those two going at it at the same time. All right, he's gonna drop a skeleton army, but I'm pretty sure we can counter this as long as we do end up raging those lumberjacks up with the clone spell, and it's gonna do some major work. Just look at how much, uh, like how quickly they take out all those swarm troops, even though they are a single target troop with the rage spell. Like it's just insane how much the rage spell does do for the lumberjacks. And the Elite Barbarians too, I mean, if you rage up a pack of Elite Barbarians, I'm pretty sure they could also take out a bunch of Swarm Troops pretty effectively as long as they don't get stunned or frozen or slowed or anything like that. Anyways, Double Elixir is here. He is going to have a Skeleton Army on the other side, so let's just go ahead and start up the Lumberjack push right here. We can get the Clone Troops to his tower as well, and hopefully his King Tower could target the Clone ones. All right, baby dragons down. Uh, let's just go ahead and get our zap ready. Counter all that. All right, let's go ahead drop another lumberjack. Hopefully, pretty soon right here, so we can get three, four rage spells down. Damn. Okay, that is so many rages down at the same time. But we're not gonna be able to take the three crown with that. So we're gonna have to start up another lumberjack right here. We'll heal that up. Look at all those rages and that lumberjack just pounding away on that king tower that was absolutely insane like to be honest attack speed was nothing i have ever seen before because usually i don't really play with like lumberjack mirror clones but, like once you get a few rage spells down on a lumberjack like boy does it just melt through towers i'm pretty sure that lumberjack soloed the king tower in a matter of just like two seconds with all those rage spells on top of that but anyways guys we're gonna hop straight into another battle you guys know how it is we're gonna try to get some more lumberjacks on the arena at the same time hopefully we can break the record of like probably like four or five rage spells we did get on the arena at this point 
Alright guys, next battle of the day, we're up against this level 2 player, Blaze Nest. Good luck to you, man. Good game. Alright, let's go ahead. Uh, he does have a prince, a really aggressive early game prince, so let's just go ahead, log that out first, zap that out of the way before we do start up the elixir collector cycle. Let's get the first one down in the back right here. Hopefully he doesn't like fireball it or anything, because like, I haven't seen that many players fireballing anymore, and I like to keep it that way. Hopefully I keep my elixir collectors up as well, because since they do like cost six elixir there was a time before when elixir collectors had like twice the hp they did right now they were super broken and they only would cost five elixir but you know what they did get some heavy nerfs along the way so they're pretty squishy and it just makes it more valuable to actually use a fireball or a rocket on your opponent's elixir collectors rather than just i guess do nothing about it because you can't really do anything about the elixir collectors back then when they were meta you could either bring one into the battle or just i guess have your opponent overwhelm you with like a bunch of elixir collectors unless you did have a rocket like the rocket was pretty much the only counter to the elixir collectors back then so yeah the thing about these guys is that uh, you can't really force them not to attack your pumps it's better to just pressure their towers and probably like take two towers in the first few minutes rather than just sitting back and doing nothing because then they'll forced uh yeah they'll be forced to defend rather than you know just be really aggressive towards their pumps here comes his fireball i'm gonna give him an angry face i think he did even hit three pumps right there so definitely i'm gonna punish him for that let's go ahead and push that tower right here he's also going to arrow but you know what that's gonna cost him one tower probably or not because my lumberjack yeah my lumberjack is gonna be able to take that tower 80 gold right there all right we'll get some more pumps down before we do start up the late game push hopefully this time we get some more lumberjacks down he does have a prince coming in i'm just gonna go ahead and log that out come on gotta keep the damage off my tower so it can protect my pumps i don't even know why is that like i should have just known the prince was gonna die anyways and i yeah i didn't even realize my king tower was activated because of the fireball all right let's just go ahead and start up the lumberjack push right here let's get down the cologne spell I don't think I'm going to get that many Lumberjacks down, but, you know, we'll try our best. Let's try to get one more Lumberjack down because those three in the front or those four in the front, they're just going to completely melt through that tower. Come on, get down the Rage Bell. Good game. Well played. I don't think we had a single Lumberjack die this game at the end. Like, we did get five Lumberjacks down better than last time. Like, we did get a lot of Rage Bells down last time, but, you know what? We only got, like, I think a few Lumberjacks at the end or probably only one because... The other one did end up dying, so I guess, yeah, we only got one Lumberjack down at the end of the last battle, so you know what, better than before. Like, you can't really get that many Lumberjacks down, they do move pretty quickly, and once you got, like, a group of them, you can't really do anything about them, because they're just gonna pretty much melt through anything they do come across, unless your opponent does have a free spell, I'm pretty sure none of these guys are gonna be able to bring a free spell into battle, obviously. Alright boys, we're up against another trophy dropper today, so I'm feeling pretty generous. We're just gonna go ahead and give this guy the L he wants, I guess. I almost said W, because like, I'm, I'm used to beating people, but you know what? This guy actually wants to lose, so you know what? We'll just give him what he wants. Go ahead, just easily three crown him with the Lumberjacks. Good game, well played guys. Three crown, 120 gold. I'm really glad that they did increase the gold cap. I don't know if it did increase, but I'm pretty sure uh, it like last time i checked it was at 600 now i'm apparently able to get 1200 gold i don't really know if you guys have like a different cap for high arenas because the first time i did play the gold rush challenge or the gold rush event was in arena one so i don't know if it scales up through high arenas because i didn't really check the balance changes but if any of you guys do know about this be sure to tell me in the comment section down below i would like to just i guess know about all these new events that are coming because i am pushing back to legendary arena after january to get all those new cards hunters and zappies i'll do trolling videos on those pretty soon i hear you guys talking about those and if they do come up with like a hunter or a zappies chest or offer i will definitely buy that and do the video as soon as i can all right so this guy is just gonna go for a really aggressive mini pekka goblin barrel push luckily I did end up shutting the mini P.E.K.K.A down fairly easily with my zap. All right, he is going to have a level 2 giant down on the left-hand side. Let's go ahead and counter that with the Lumberjack. Just easily melt through that giant. Uh, let's actually start up a Lumberjack push right here. We'll drop another one. Okay, that was a pretty good prediction fireball for my level 3 Lumberjack. Let's go ahead and clone all of these. 
you know, get some more rage spells down. I'm pretty sure this should be the three crown because he barely has any cards to defend against this. Nothing to stop the burst damage of the Lumberjack. Good game. Well played, team man. So, guys, that is going to wrap it up for today's video. If you did enjoy, be sure to leave a like down below. Every like is much appreciated. Again, let's try to hit 300 likes on today's video. And if you guys do enjoy Clash Royale drop trolling content, be sure to subscribe and turn on push notifications to my channel. I would really appreciate that. And I'll see you guys in the next Clash Royale video. Have a good one. Peace.